KTSM is proud to host its Small Town Spotlight, where we go to individual small communities and spotlight all the great news. Our journey takes us to Santa Teresa, specifically the Santa Teresa Airport. And joining me now is Tomas Peralta. He is the owner and flight instructor at Red Arrow Flight Academy. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. Thank you for having me. Okay, Tomas, let's talk about, okay, we, we like to focus on small communities. Mm -hmm. And you're a pilot. Yes. And you're a trainer. Yes. So that's even a smaller community. It so it's is. a smaller community within a small community out here at this airport. Tell us about the pilots here. Sure. We're definitely kind of the lost airport out here, but we have a lot to offer both as an airport and obviously as the flight school. We, we definitely uh, are able to help people get to where they want to go in terms of learning how to fly. Um, it's definitely a, a fun process to teach people how to fly and it's been a great 10 years of, of, uh, of an adventure. So you started out as a flight instructor and then a few years in you decided, you know what? I'm going at it. I'm going to start it. I'm going to start my Red Arrow Flight Academy. How have the 10 years been? Uh, great. I mean, it's a lot of work. I, I, like any small business owner knows, it's, it's just day in, day out. Uh, the nice thing is I love to fly. I love to teach. Uh, you meet a lot of great people. You get to share your passion with them and watch them grow and watch them do a lot of fun stuff. So, so it's a great job. Demand is high. And you were telling me about a pilot shortage that everybody seems to be aware of. Mm -hmm. How can a guy who's never been in a cockpit or a gal go, well, I want to do that. And how does it start with you? Sure. Well, it's, it's actually really easy. Like you said, there's a huge pilot shortage in the airlines. Uh, both regional and, and the uh, big airlines are, are trying needing uh, pilots. So the best way to start would be at a school like ours where we can pretty much train you from private to instrument to commercial to flight instructor and at that point you have all the qualifications to get paid to fly. Most people end up teaching for a year or two as a flight instructor. It's the best way to get a, a job without a lot of experience. And then once you hit the magical number of uh, 1,500 hours, that's when the regional airlines start knocking at your door and start wanting you to Get come over. Get in this cockpit yeah, right now. Exactly. Okay, so I gotta ask, if, if I've always wanted to fly, I think everybody kind of secretly desires to fly. But there's gotta be a point when you're with your trainer and you're out there looking down on El Paso or Santa Teresa, and you say, okay, take over. What? What do you do? How, I mean, what's that feeling like? Well, it's, uh, you're describing probably the, the most special process in, in for a pilot, a new pilot, uh, which we call the solo. So what happens usually is we um, take the student out. But before that, obviously, there's a lot of training involved. Sure. And we do a bunch of touch and go. So it's pretty much landing and, 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 uh, and taking off here in, in the airport. If all the conditions are right and the student is showing confidence in what they're doing, uh, the instructor says, well, get off the get off the runway, opens the door and says, good luck. Uh, <laughs> give, me, give me three touch and goes and I'll be waiting for you down here. Fantastic. Okay, obviously we are standing in the War Eagles Air Museum, a beautiful backdrop and a wonderful place to come. But this little Santa Teresa airport, the lost airport, it's really not so lost. You've got private jets coming in here all the time. If people want to land in style or train in style, this is the place. Yes, for sure. Uh, we have actually have a huge runway, which is unique uh, for the area. Uh, we have a lot of uh, jets that are both local and come in as traffic. Uh, we also have our uh, port of entry is also one thing we have. But And obviously the school, we're the ones that keep the, the airport really busy because we're always flying. But, but definitely we, we, we keep the airport busy. I love it. Tomas, thank you so much. More information, want to learn to fly? Go to KTSM.com. Click on that Studio Now tab.